In this video today we're going to be doing some drywall taping. I'm going to demonstrate how I put on uh, outside corners and one inside corner. So first off I'd like to put a little bit of water in the pre-mixed all-purpose drywall compound and then make sure it's just stirred up very well. You want it to be, you know, somewhat wet. First thing will be to measure the height to cut my metal 90 degree paper taped uh, corner. So I just gotta take that much off. Next I like to apply the all-purpose compound. So just uh, have a nice even amount spread out about three or four inches. So I'll, I'll put it on sideways and then drag the trap drag the drywall knife down to smooth it out. I just want an even amount spread on the corner. Now it's time to just put the paper tape corner on. After it's uh, applied, just uh, you want to press firmly. Make sure it's very tight that it's all filled up with the drywall compound. It's just run your fingers down the edge to get out some of the excess. Now it's time to take the drywall knife and just smooth out along each side. You want to press quite firm to make sure you get all the excess out. That will ensure that your corner bead will be nice and straight and uh, not too, too much mud, not too much drywall compound. Right down to the bottom, you don't want to leave any excess at the bottom because uh, the, the trim will have to go over top of that at one point. Now I'm going to put on another corner, but this one is on a bulkhead that is running in between the hallway. So once again, I put a generous amount of all-purpose compound on. Uh, smoothing it out so it's nice and even. Then after I have it smoothed out, I'll be uh, ready to put the drywall corner on. So you want that to fit fairly snug right in between. Same thing again with my drywall knife, just dragging it along quite firm, putting quite a bit of pressure on. It'll just firm up that metal corner. Because you want that nice and tight, and uh, you don't want excess mud in behind there. So it'll just make each coat after that much simpler to do. Here's another corner. This is on a closet, so get my measurement, cut off what I need to cut off. So for that, you just want some tin snips that are fairly sharp. It takes a little bit of practice to get you know, the feel for for the drywall compound. Um, 
but you know after you've done a little bit you'll really get the hang of it and it should go fairly fairly good if you follow these steps for putting your corners on and you have the right uh, materials i find these paper taped corners with the metal 90 degree uh behind is uh they're they're great they've i've been using them for years and i, I have never had a problem with uh cracking or or anything they seem very very durable and uh, a great corner so just want to once again just with your hand go up and down firmly tightening it to the drywall Taking the knife, smoothing out the mud. That's why you want to water down the compound a bit. You want it to be quite, um, quite smooth. You don't, uh, you don't want it to be very firm because it'll make the job just that much harder to do. So you want it to be, yeah, kind of watered down before you before you start. It helps with the with the paper adhering to the to the compound. Okay now this is the uh, one inside corner. So this is just the regular paper tape. I use paper for for every job. I think it is the uh, superior of you know the two either the mesh or the paper. I find that the mesh just it has, I've had issues with, with it before, but some guys really like it. So, you know, whatever to each their own. So I'm just putting some compound on as with the knife on its edge and then smoothing it out with the flat part, um, just to get off some of the excess. I'm, I'm going to just hold the tape there, get my measurement, rip it off. Then you want to just find the crease. Uh, it's pretty easy to figure out and then smooth it out or Tighten that up with your, your hands. Then uh, press it in to the corner. And just smooth it out with your with your fingers at the start. And then you don't want a lot of mud behind there. And then you just want to smooth out the, the rest. Just drag in your drywall knife, knife uh, quite firm. you got to get a feel for it, but quite firmly along the paper. You don't want to you know, go through it or anything, but... You don't want any excess, that's the main thing, to get a nice corner. Make sure all the drywall compound is, is right smoothed out. And that's how you do a inside corner. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe.